team that we're going to feature now is a team that have been, I think, will be really good. It kind of started off with Gengar Urshifu, but um, it is Rapid Strike Urshifu. We got Raichu in there, Talonflame, Amoongus, and Crocodile. So let's give it a whirl. It's a work in progress. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll throw the rental up at the end. We've got London up next as we move on to Pokemon again. Lapras. This is... I'm pretty sure this is the winning team from the the ladies, the women's uh, VG tournament. And you know I was away, so I didn't get to see any of it. So I don't really know what happened. But I do know that this looks like the winning team. Thank you to Bebum who actually sent me this, which was pretty cool. So I think it is. Right. We've got Lapras, Talonflame, Raichu, Urshifu, Serena, and Duraludon. Um, I think we need to lead Urshifu for sure. Um, maybe Raichu Urshifu is not bad because it gives us Fake Out to help us against the Talonflame. At least we can start chucking damage out with Urshifu pretty early on. Um, can Crocodile? Crocodile is pretty decent here to be honest. Like we've got to be a bit careful around. I think Crocodile Gengar is our last two. Um... I think we've maybe prioritized uh, I don't know. Let's go for this. Let's go for this. I don't know. But yeah, I, I need to catch up with the women's tournament. It sounded like it was uh, a huge success and like everyone had a good time. So, um, and there seems to be some really cool teams that came out from it as well. So that's another reason to check those out. Steal some ideas going forward. But yeah, um, the winning team, which is this, is is super good. I really like the team. I think it's a really innovative team. Okay, so we do see the Talon and the Lapras come out. We're probably going to see the Lapras max here. The Talonflame probably going to go for a Tailwind. Now we make the decision, do we... Um, I mean, it's fine for us to fake out. And go Surgeon Strikes into the Talonflame. The only issue is doing that. Uh, is if they switch the talent flame out that's the problem um which they could do and they could go into raichu here i mean we get rid of the raichu but then they get the talent flame back in, and then they're back to getting there i mean that's actually not too bad okay we go for that play because even if they do that we get rid of the raichu potentially if they switch here which they don't which is fine if they get the talent flame back in what i was going to say is we'd be able to get the nuzzle into the the lapras to kind of avoid the speed control going forward so uh we'll see what they do they don't even max the lapras just yet so it looks like they're probably going to keep it until the raichu comes on the field this next turn with fake out i'd imagine could have went for a close combat there into lapras freeze dry coming out into urshifu does take us down Yeah, we should have close combated. Um, okay. Well. I think we get Gengar in. Let's see what Gengar can do. Because their Raichu's kind of locked against ours. It can fake our Raichu out for sure here. But we can get some fat damage onto this Lapras with a Terror. It's worth going for the Terror, the Ooze, because then the next turn... Uh, is it worth getting rid of their Raichu here, to be honest? Nah. Get some damage onto this Lapras. Hmm. It's probably better going for the ooze now and then maybe the helping hand the next turn and going for the phantasm and plus one let's do that should have made your play bev and we should have went for the close combat i did expect it to max though but not wanting to max too early on they may help in hand with their own lapras as well but i imagine you probably want to try and get rid of our raichu here And then maybe go for a nuzzle on the next turn. Potentially.
I was like, for a minute, are they not maxing? That would be nuts if they weren't. But they are. Yeah, it'd be very... Do you reckon Max Lapras would go down to Bando Shifu? I don't know. It'd be very close. Maybe the Life Orb variant for sure. See how much this does. This should do a good chunk. Okay. Well, we get the help in hand. What are they going to do? Huh. Well, we're going to get the plus one, which is, which is helpful for sure. It's not doing that much damage to the Max Lapras, but it's a good chunk to get us started at least. Um, and they're going for a nuzzle, which is nuts because we got the lightning rod, so that's the reason why it's kind of locked. Um, and there's a resonance, yeah. Okay, Need to get the life orb does a lot of damage. We can't really do much with Raichu here, to be honest. Hey, that's the problem. Um, huh. Maybe a helping hand phantasm gets it, you know. Let's try. I think we've got to go for it. We've got to try. Let's see. Uh, I've close combat multiple and none of them have died. I've killed Max Lapras with Banded Urshifu. Nice. Okay, there we go. Bebum, thank you so much, dude. Dude, you do not need to, but thank you so much. Really appreciate it, my friend. Really appreciate it, dude. Okay, he's going to get it. We get it! There we go, behind the resonance. There we go. Okay. Gengar bust, boys. Gengar is bust. Gengar is bust. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Here we go. We've got a list. We've got a list of you guys. Bebum, thank you so much, mate. You are too, too generous. This is good drum. Moderium. Uh, x -Bile. The original Krim. The Dragon Knight. Glacian Trainer. Convo. Uh, Easter Wick, Canovax, Hectic, thank you so much guys, and a big shout out to, um, big, big shout out to our good buddy Bevum here. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of this Urshifu right now, and this is how we do it. We go for Max Starfall. <laughs> well, wicked blow your own weakness policy, Gengar, dude. Okay, let's see. Thank you so much, guys, for all the subs. Bebum, thank you so much. The worst thing here is actually Suka Punch. Suka. But we're not going to see that. Bye. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, that wraps that one up. Oh, thank you so much, Nappy. Thank you for the belated birthday. Okay, well, we get rid of the Urshifu. That's how we deal with Urshifu with Gengar. Um, Gengar. The Dream Killer. Okay. I'm actually falling in love with this team a little bit. Go for the high horsepower. But we don't really need to because we can just go for the slush bomb into the Raichu. It is Sash though. But the battle is cancelled. Good game to London. Okay, we've got our next opponent, Elspark. We've got Kobolion, Terrakian, uh, Comfy, Weezing, Arcanine, and Inteleon. Uh, so this is kind of tricky because of the Weezing, if nothing else. It definitely throws up a few problems because a lot of our Pokemon rely on their, their abilities to kind of function well. Um, I guess the one thing we got going with Gengar is that we've got at least the speed advantage over most things, excluding the Inteleon. Um, okay, I think we go with, I think we need Crocodile in this match for sure. I think it's just about, we need a way to, to kind of, do we go Talon or do we go Raichu? Lead. I think Raichu is maybe better. We don't need to worry about um, electric from my opponent's end of the field. So losing the lightning rod is not too much of a big deal for us. I think we go Crook in the back with Urshifu. We've got to really kind of shut down their trick room as well. If they decide to go with that with Comfy, I don't think that's what they're going for. They don't really have a trick room core. So let's see what they do. Let's see. 
Dracozolt next to Sork user is not nice. Yeah, I like the idea of that a lot. I like the idea of that a lot. Sork is something that, especially on Inteleon with its speed, you know, it's never really like, it's never been used too much. Um, so it's nice to hear someone making use of that. Oh, and now, now Johnny, now Johnny takes a U-turn. There we go, Johnny. Yeah, too late, mate. <laughs> too late. The the damage is done. Okay, we got Cobalion and Terrakion coming out. This would have been really good for uh, our Urshifu, but I'm going to see. I mean, I don't really know what to expect from my opponent here, to be honest. Um... <laughs> We could just pull in Crocodile and go for a Nuzzle into... I mean, which one's going to be better for us to... Yeah, let's pull in... Let's pull in Crocodile. If we can get, like, a Nuzzle on both Pokemon, that would be incredibly good. I'd say Terrakion's more likely to have a Lumberry. Um, so we can go for a Nuzzle into Cobbaline. There's no way you close combat into Crocodile. We might see Rock Slide cross combat. This is where they make the read of the century. <laughs> and they might close combat weakness policy. They could do that. If we get the fully paralysis here, that would be a big, big help for us. There's a Rock Slide. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it still does a chunk of damage, isn't it? Even. Oh, okay, crit. That makes a bit more sense. Coaching. There we go. Coaching that Terrakian. All right, well, boosting that defense and attack, which is a little bit scary because um, it can start chucking some attacks around. I mean, do we actually just go for... We could just high horsepower into Terrakian because then if we get the Nuzzle off into Terrakian, um, at least we can get Urshifu and we can deal with it if we can Nuzzle it. So let's see if we can do that. See if we can do this. Okay. Tracking gonna max. Watch its weakness policy as well. Okay. Let's not be lum. Let's not be lum tracking. It's where Tracking's got like the thickest neck of any Pokemon. Okay, so hopefully it's just sashed and there's no berry. No berry, which is good. High horsepower, decent damage. Weakness policy? No. But another coaching. I mean, we don't really care about the defense boosts when we get Urshifu onto the field. Uh, they probably go after Crocodile here. Oh, we're going Rockfall. Huh. Are they actually targeting down the Raichu? Okay, that's way better for us. Because now we get Urshifu in, we can just get rid of the Terrakion completely. Um, and start stacking some damage onto the Cobbalion. Okay, because I think we double tap Terraki in here, um, because a combination of Surgeon Strikes high horsepower should get it, and if the Surgeon Strikes gets it, then at least the high horsepower just reverts into the Cobble Iron there, so we'll do that. Johnny, Terraki doesn't have a neck. It totally does, dude. Look, like, that whole, like, bulk thing. That's all its, its neck and its chest are all all one thing. Okay, so we're going to see an Intimidate come in from the Arcanine. Uh, as long as we can kind of crit our way through with these Surgeon Strikes, we should be all right. There's one. Yeah, we're going to get the track in here. That's all right. Okay. And two. So the band coming in, pretty, pretty useful here. And high horsepower into Arcanine. Arcanine. Okay. Wow. That's minus one. It still does a lot of damage, doesn't it? White Ghoul Wolf, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining the stream tonight. I hope you enjoy the rest of the, the evening with us uh, in this Series 6 crazy team that we're playing, which is... A lot of fun at the minute. So we'll go for the high horsepower into Cobble Lion and go for the Surgeon Strikes into Arcanine. Bandage Shifu is 100% disgusting, Johnny. I do like it though. 
said this, got to go. Have a great evening, Lee. Don't screw up this match. Basically, well, <laughs> thanks, Johnny. I'll try not to, dude. Thanks for coming by, though, mate. It was really nice catching up with you tonight. I hope you're well. I have a great rest of the evening, mate. And thanks so much again for coming out to the stream with us tonight. Okay. What if the Cobble Lion's trying to coach? Still going for that coach. It is. But no one to coach. <laughs> You know I will, will. I will. I will try my best. Mess this up the best I can. They're always there. I don't let you guys down. And then the neutralizing gas coming onto the field. Um, okay. I mean, we're just going to high horsepower the wheezing and surging strikes into... <sighs> yeah, we just double into wheezing. Get rid of it. It does threaten... Okay. There we go. Battle cancelled. We're going to get to that master ball rank. There we go. So hopefully you can finish with a, a nice win. A nice win. What's this? <laughs> we get into Master Ball rank. And this is the first team that we come up against. How's this? This is this is the Welcome to Master Ball tier, where you will play Chansey and Jigglypuff. <laughs> Lots I just played this guy. This team is ba this is pure banter. This is pure banter. I feel like Urshifu is going to have a great time against this team. I feel like Gengar is going to have a great time. I'm going to leave Gengar, Urshifu, and I don't know what else to expect from this team. We'll bring in Amoongus, though. Uh, the Seismitoad really... I don't like the Seismitoad at all, because it's going to really do lots of bad stuff, too. Okay, maybe not Gengar as a lead. Maybe... <clears throat> Maybe Moongus or either Talonflame Moongus. I just worry about the thing I worry about and why I'm leading Gengar is okay. We'll lead Gengar because I worry about I worry about the Gothitelle coming out as a lead. Um, we can pull into a Moongus, so that's not too bad. And I think oh, look at that's kind of tempting. It does have Darkest Lariat, which is good against the Chansey. Um, and it's good against Goth Marowak as well. Yeah, let's go for that. It's bad against the rain core, but otherwise, it's all right. Ally switch Jiggly and Chansey managed to predict every ally switch. Felt like a god. Dude, <laughs> thanks for the information. Now we're going to fail every ally switch. We're going to try and predict it. Okay, here we go. Gothitelle, Seismitoad. Okay, this isn't too bad. Because there's no rain right now. Now we've got a couple of options here. Like. <sighs> what are they going to do? Are they going to pull the Gothitelle into Politoed? Or are they going to Trick Room? Hmm. I think they probably go Politoed and then try and Earth Power us. To be honest. The other thing is if they... Uh, let's have a look what they got again. Hmm. I think we just got Surgeon Strikes into Seismitoad. And I think to cover bases we got into Amoongus here. At least we can switch with Gengar. Now we can't switch at all. So we are stuck. But if they set the Trick Room up, then at least we got a little old Amoongus on the field to help us out. Okay, they're maxing Seismitoad. Let's see what they go for. Max Quake, I think. 100% dude. 100% Krim. You sit across from your R1 opponent regions and has this team. <laughs> it would happen as well. It would 100% happen. I uh, hope it's not Water Absorb Seismitoad as well. Okay, let's see the fake out. Are they doubling into Urshifu maybe? No, they wouldn't leave the Gengar alone, surely. Nah, they're going into the movies. Okay. It's Life Orb. Life Orb. Well, we've not really got too much of an... Well... I mean... I think we could just go Surgeon Strikes again. But they could ally switch. We could ally switch, sure. 
They're probably psychic. Do they go after Amoongus though? They're probably psychic Amoongus. I don't imagine they do. Let's try and protect. So we've got at least a rage part of the next turn to kind of pull away whatever the uh, Seismitoad does. Okay, we're going to see. Bitch out. And Politoad come in. You've got to go after the Amoongus though, really. I think because the Amoongus threatens the Seismitoad pretty bad. Uh, even though our Urshifu also threatens the Seismitoad. Going max quick again. Going for the special defense boosts. Gone into Amoongus. Okay, that's fine. We'll get our Surgeon Strikes, and we're rain boosted, and we're banded. We've got all the we've got all all the stacking going on here. See how much this does. Can we get rid of this thing? Okay, that's good because it just procs our berry, which is ideal for Amoongus. And we can switch out now, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad damage. That's really not bad damage. Honestly, that's pretty good. We're going to be very close to getting it. Very close. Is it high roll? Oh, okay. Not quite. But we got Rage Powder the next turn. So we can get it the next turn, which is also very useful. Um, so we'll just pull in that attack from the Seismitoad. Um, such a sad looking Pokemon, isn't it? <laughs> Nostalgia is great. Double Toad, the new duck. It could be. The new Double Duck, Double Toad. I like Seismitoad as well. I think Seismitoad reigns an interesting concept for sure. Right, well, you're out. Thank you so much for coming by, Will. As always, my friend, great catching up with you, dude. And I uh, hope we catch you on Friday, mate. Have a good rest of your evening. Sleep well, man. And uh, have a good day tomorrow. Yeah, let's see. Probably losing Moongus here, I imagine. Yeah, come for that final max quick. Politoad's, Politoad's got plus two special defense, which makes it pretty scary. Um, I wonder if it's like a perish variant, potentially. Maybe. <clears throat> ah, the life orb. Just allowing it to uh, survive. Yeah, okay, well, we'll get rid of that. I'm going to see Scald. Oh, hypnosis. And they hit. Of course they do. Ah, it's even worse than... It's worse than... Um, than Perish Polytard. It's... It's the worst Polytard. Ah! <laughs> Blind hypnosis. Gotta love it. Got to love. Um, Alright, well... At least we can't be burned, so there is a plus side to this. Um, let's try and get through these sleep turns. We could max Starfall to potentially try and get around, get around their blind hypnosis, or I could just ignore it completely and go for a Terra into Gothitel. I think that's the, probably the best because I think Life Orb Max Terra will get the Gothitel. And then more likely to have uh, the Colba Berry rather than the Ghost Resist one, whatever that one's called. <laughs> Nostalgia is great. Politoad is the best. I do agree. I love Politoad. Not when I'm playing against it though. It's a horrible Pokemon. Dude, what regional was it we were at? And we had that like it was the most insane set we ever like. It was such an intense set. I think it was like the winning in set, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was, but it was nuts. I had to play your Goth Mobile Polito team. It was horrible. It's like I'm gonna lose this somehow. Managed. I, I, I can't even remember the details. The Sheffield, yeah, dude. There's the Parish song. Here it comes. Yeah, I kind of don't mind this too much because now that Politoad has kind of sealed its own fate, um, which is... Ah, okay. Right, well. Well, well, well. Uh, try, and if we get a wake up here, that's pretty good for us. We'll go for a Max Terra into the Politoad. If Urshifu can stick around until... Well, if Ursh if we can wake up here, that would be amazing. Would be amazing. Oh, we did have a game freeze, dude, didn't we? Yeah, 
Yeah, that plus two special defense is pretty big. G Max Terra has got such a great animation as well. It's probably one. Oh, we do wake up. Come on. Can we knock out the Chansey? Please, let's do this. Come on. We've got the rain up. We've got banned. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to. It's going to be very, very close, though. It's going to be very close. We should be able to get it the next turn, as long as we get one attack hit. And no. Okay, we avoid, which is perfect. Minimize. Okay, have we got one more turn of max left? That's all we need, and we can get it with max, max ooze. Okay, we've got one more turn. We can get the Chansey. We should, max ooze should get it. We can just search and strike the Politoed. Um Yeah, Max Ooze should get it. Should get it. Ally switching coming. Oh, it's got Protect. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Come on. We should have Max Starfall to stop these Hypnosis spam. <laughs> Do you know that Chansey's name in Japanese is Lucky? I didn't know that, dude, but that makes a lot of sense. The Lucky Pokemon. Oh, we should have just, we should have targeted the Chansey here because we've gone through the Protect. Uh... Okay, it's so a horrible matchup. The round after we played, so I got 33. Ah, oh, dude. I feel bad now. Now I feel even worse. I. That was a good regional though, dude. That team deserved to do incredible things. Yeah, the rain does stop. Uh, we got to uh, perish. We're going to lose something here. And I don't think we can afford to lose Urshifu. So I think we switch Urshifu out um, into Crocodile. And we will go for a... I mean, I should go for a Sludge Bomb into Chansey. Let's try and get it. I'm pretty... I feel like Gengar will pull through for us here. I believe in Gengar. Believe in the heart of the cards. And then Urshifu can should be able to deal with the Chansey. Because we're only gonna need like one close combat. There we go, Gengar. That's what we like to see. Lee is so rusty after one week of playing Pog. I know, dude. I know, one week. Okay, but we do snag a win. I think we're like, what are we like, 5 0 with this team? This team's strong. Massage is great. I got top four, top four and the 60 player best of three MSS on Sunday, though, so the team got to prove itself. That's good to hear, dude. It deserved to. That team was insane. But here is the team, friends. Have a lot of fun with it if you do play it. I am sure you will. But if you do, definitely let me know what you think about it. We might even play this on Friday. I think it would be a good team to feature on Friday, for sure. Um, and see how far we can climb up the ladder with it. Because I think it's a little bit different from what we're seeing in the format at the minute. We've got some stuff that's kind of... Like, obviously, I took a lot of inspiration for the, the Talon Flame and the, the, uh, the Raichu set from um, the winning team from uh, the weekend from the... The women's tournament um but the rest of it's kind of just put together i really like the amunga spread that i've got on there at the minute as well um it's very defensive but it gives you the best chance it takes a brave bird from a talent flame not intimidated from a bravery not intimidated um and it always procs the berry as well it takes a wicked blow from banded urshifu pretty well uh and most of the time it will proc the berry so you can you've got that kind of little bit of a buffer um and the rest of the team Good, yeah. So minus one rock fall from a life orb. Durant will not knock out Max Gengar either. So there you go. And there's Bevan with the Kalk. 252 attack, choice band, Urshifu, rapid, rapid strike, close combat, 4 HP versus uh, no defense. Porygon Z. Yeah. Is that Max PZ? Oh, so it's like a 150% chance to guarantee knockout without the friend god so there you go yeah Gengar Urshifu is your lead there we go and that is max okay so yeah no worries about knocking it out and the investment it needs to uh, take that is pretty nuts so yeah there's a team friends thank you so much to each and every one of you for coming out tonight it's been a lot of fun it's been nice to kind of get back into the stream as well after so much time out last week so 
Uh, looking forward to kind of getting back to our usual schedule, which is Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 8 p.m. We'll be streaming Friday. I don't know what we're going to play yet. I'm kind of tempted to play this one, but we'll see on Friday what we can do, and then um, we can go from there. But have a great rest of your evening or day, whatever time it is where you are in the world. Uh, but thanks again for coming out, and uh, thanks for all of the raids that we had tonight and all the subs and support you guys are insane so uh, i really appreciate it and uh, we'll keep trying to work and improve and make things a lot more enjoyable for you guys but yeah really enjoyed this i really enjoyed it Lars, as well thank you so much for coming out so i'm gonna head off and uh do some stuff and then i'm gonna hit uh hit get to bed because it's gonna be up early 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 bird tomorrow start the day fresh with a positive ahead on so i guarantee you guys will have a great day tomorrow and uh, we'll see you friday so take care of yourselves till the next one bye bye friends bye